G'day, it's Heath here from PicklingLessons.com. In this mandolin lesson, we're gonna be taking a look at how we can link double stops to a scale pattern and basically achieve something like that Mountain Dew break I just played. Uh, this is part of the Mandolin Essentials uh, series at PicklingLessons.com. So this is the fourth one along. We've had a look at some open position keys that are uh, some minor keys that are really useful to look at. So do check those out as well. But in this one, we are looking at double stops and how we can link them to a scale. Uh, the scale we're using is a major blues scale uh, and we have the three double stops in that position. So a uh, quick example, this is uh, one of the double stops here. So we've got in G, we've got our first finger and our second finger, and the scale we're using is just this five note scale, pretty much, we're gonna add a little blues note in there later on, but this five note major pentatonic scale, there's our root note on the G there, we have three notes on that same string, five, seven, nine, but we have the seventh and ninth on the string below. So it's a little box pattern we can play just over two strings. And this is all about just two strings and the double stops attached to this scale position. So quick little exercise just to get us going so you can see how this works. Uh, what we have here is this double stop into the scale, down the scale, finish with a double stop. So two fingers on the double stop, kick it off with a double stop, then the scale, finish on that last note, back to the double stop. This is pretty much how that break started for Mountain Dew. Our first uh, couple of bars, I'll show you how that runs. We've got this little kick off into the first two measures. So those two measures there, you can see how I'm using that scale position. I didn't use all the notes for the melody because of course we've got some melody for Mountain Dew as well. But, but just at the moment, we've got two fingers, double stop, five notes for the major pentatonic scale. And we're trying to stay in that double stop position while we play those notes around it. And that's kind of what we're gonna be doing here in this lesson. If you head to pickinglessons.com, you're gonna grab a chart that we're working through, which has the Mountain Dew example in there, which has the scale positions. And there's three double stops that we're gonna associate with that position, all featured in that Mountain Dew break. We've got some examples, just exercises to practice, but then of course we'll break down the Mountain Dew break and have a look and analyze how those double stops and scales are used. And we do follow some chords as well as we go. So the scale will move for those chords too. So we'll break it down over at pickinglessons.com. I'll see you there.